This Is Me, an online talk show for the 50 plus woman. This Is Me is about inspiring, uplifting, and informing the 50 plus woman. I'd like to welcome today all my guests. Um, we're going to be talking about skincare and makeup. And my guest, Nico Kleinfelter. Klein <laughs> Nico yes. Kleinfelter <laughs> Felter, mm -hmm. is a consultant for the Clinique Skin Care and Makeup Laboratories. And first I want to say welcome, uh, Nico, <laughs> and I want to say welcome um, to Laris as well as to Pam. Um, they are here as guests as well as participants on today's show. So Nico, first I would like to say thank you for coming okay. and thank you for being here. Okay. And we want to want maybe just tell us a little bit about what you do and also tell us a little bit about Clinique, um, uh, their laboratories and what really sets them apart in the beauty industry. Okay, well, I'm a Clinique consultant, so I work at the counters. Um, I'm over in a local department store. I help um, Consultations with skincare, makeup, everything in between, really. Um, so, Clinique is all allergy tested. It's like doctor approved, ophthalmologist mm -hmm. approved. Um, so, none of the products are going to really be irritating. Um, they're just going to be very healthy for your skin. Um, Clinique's been around for years. Yes. Um, Estee Lauder created the company, so it's kind of going hand in hand with Estee Lauder, a huge brand. Um, yeah, um, they've had a lot of firsts. They were the first to do like fragrance-free makeup, because fragrance-free, well, makeup and skin care. Mm -hmm. um, fragrances can sometimes be added in irritants, mm -hmm. so they took out that possibility of irritation. Um, they're phylate-free, paraben-free, it's just all good, like, healthy products for your skin. So that's wonderful. And so I know most women nowadays are really into more the natural mm -hmm. uh, products that doesn't use a lot of chemicals. Mm -hmm. And um, it's nice to know that Clinique is definitely in that line of, of natural products and things that's going to be healthy for the skin. Mm -hmm. And um, we're here today talking about skin care and, and makeup for the 50 plus woman. And uh, we just want to maybe touch on that a little bit about what is the maybe the uniqueness uh, for the mature skin skin uh, line far as what kind of product should we as women 50 plus should be using on our skin. Okay. Well, um, for more mature skin, you just want to make sure that you, one, do keep up with your regimen. Also, mm -hmm. um, make sure, because there is a lot of products that are for anti-aging. I think one of the things that um, people kind of have like a misconception with the like anti-aging products out there is a lot um, that a lot of preventative, it's a lot of preventative care mm -hmm. really. So it is something you do want to start a little bit more earlier in your life, but it mm -hmm. doesn't say that once you are mature that you just can't use them like you're just done for at that point. Mm -hmm. So um, there are products out there that will help um, bring your skin back a little bit, um, help keep, take good care of it, protect it, um, cause a lot of skincare is just protecting from natural, like, aggressors, mm -hmm. from, like, pollution, the sun, mm -hmm. all of that. So, clinic has a line for fine lines and wrinkles, mm -hmm. because that's what most women, you know, will be looking for at this stage, what can I do to re reduce my fine lines mm -hmm. and wrinkles and age spots and, you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And um, it's nice to know that Clinique does carry things that will help us in, in those areas. Mm -hmm. um, and I heard you talking about beauty regimen. Um, what kind of regimen or, or steps should we as women be taking like on a daily basis just to keep our skin healthy and, and clean? So Clinique has this system, the three-step system, where you wash, exfoliate, and then moisturize. But mm -hmm. you can always add in other products like serums and eye creams. You should be adding them in anyway. Mm -hmm. So it starts out by you just wash your skin, get all the dirt, excess oils, just out of there, just wash your face. Mm -hmm. And then you take an exfoliator, either more of a physical exfoliator, so like those little granules, or you take a more 
chemical exfoliator, meaning um, like a liquid exfoliator, you pour a little bit onto like a cotton ball and mm -hmm. just gently like wipe away the dead skin. And then going for the three step, then you moisturize. So you take a good moisturizer. Um, for daytime, it'd be more like a day cream, so it would have the sun protection in there. But mm -hmm. for nighttime, you can just use any really good kind of moisturizer. But then um, there are serums, which are more of the treatment. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're going to want to do before your moisturizer. But after mm -hmm. the exfoliator, make sure it really does get into the skin and help treat it. Now, um, the anti-aging uh, and wrinkle creams and serums, um, are they really proven that they do work or, mm -hmm. if, you know, because some things, you know, you see on, on TV in seven days or, or seven weeks, you know, these lines are supposed to be gone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just wanted to know how, how real that uh, serums, are they really, do they really work? So yeah, there is like a lot of skepticism about mm -hmm. skincare and if it does really work. But a lot of it is really you just have to keep up with it. Mm -hmm. um, but in my own, I guess, um, experiences, because I have a mother, she's um, kind of getting towards her 50s. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> um, so um, I've actually, since I started working for Clinique, I got her turned on to a lot of their mm -hmm. products. And she swears by like all of them now. She uses this moisturizer that we have that does help with the fine lines and wrinkles. It has a whey protein in it and that's going to help pump out any of those fine lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. She uses that. She loves it. She has this one eye cream from us. Um, it's called the Repairwear Anti-Gravity. It's a nice like lifting and firming mm -hmm. eye cream. She swears by that too. Mm -hmm. um, and one of our newer products is the um, Smart Clinical MD. It has a double-sided kind of packaging. Um, mm -hmm. One side has a um, like a re-sculpting, and mm -hmm. then the other side has a re-plumping. So the re-sculpting goes like, it goes like along the jawline, neck, anywhere you kind of want to like tighten and firm. Mm -hmm. And then the re-plumping goes wherever you do want to add more volume to. So um, my mom, before she started using it, she had some deeper set in laugh lines. And I could really tell like within a few days that she did start using it. Mm -hmm. She didn't even tell me that she started using it. And I could mm -hmm. see that wow. those lines were really getting like, filled yeah. out. Mm -hmm. It was pretty impressive. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I, I'm really into skincare as well as makeup, but um, how can women tell what type of skin that, you know, uh, they have, do I have dry, do I have oily, do I have combination of dry and oily? Mm -hmm. um, how can we tell what type of skin we have? So, um, you really do just have to look at different sections of your skin and mm -hmm. also feel it. Mm -hmm. um, if you feel like your cheeks and your forehead, even like around your nose area, and it just feels like really tight and dry, mm -hmm. you're going to just be dry skin. Um, if you feel that you're kind of tight, just, or tight and dry like in the cheeks, but mm -hmm. comfortable, maybe a little bit oily in like the T-zone area, so mm -hmm. a little bit on the forehead, down the nose, mm -hmm. in this pore area feeling normal or oily, then that's going to be called dry combination. Mm -hmm. And then if you are not dry on the cheeks, but you're still a little oily or even more oily mm -hmm. in the T-zone, that's mm -hmm. called oily combination. And then if you're just all over oily on the cheeks, oily in the T-zone, mm -hmm. that's just mm -hmm. oily skin. Now what about like if you have uh, acne breakouts mm -hmm. or something like that, do Clinique have uh, products for that as well? We do. Um, mm -hmm. I actually use some of them because I do get some breakouts every mm -hmm. now and then. I'm still, I just got like out of my teens, so mm -hmm. I still get breakouts. Um, yeah, there's like a whole three-step system just for the, the acne solutions line as well. There's um, two different kinds of face wash. There's like a, mm -hmm. more of like a gel or there's a foam. Mm -hmm. And then there is um, the clarifying lotion, which is that liquid exfoliator. It mm -hmm. has a salicylic acid, which is an acne treatment, and there you gotta kind of like shake it up. Um, there is a spot treatment, which I use, and it's probably my favorite one I have tried. Because mm -hmm. I've used some other brands like Neutrogena or mm -hmm. even Philosophy had one, but I think the Clinique was actually my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, follow up with an oily moisturizer or okay. whichever one that you prefer. Now I want to get into maybe some, a little bit questions about makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, what are like the biggest mistakes that mature skin, or as women, what the, what are the biggest mistakes that we make far as 
uh, like foundation and makeup because sometimes you know if you start having those lines and wrinkles and you don't know how to apply you could either accentuate those lines or you know some things just you know uh, don't maybe look as well as they should mm -hmm. if you don't know how to apply it correctly. So I think the first thing is actually find a foundation that does match your skin tone. A lot of times mm -hmm. I will have more mature women at my counter and they'll ask me for a foundation that's either a, like lighter than they are or mm -hmm. a little bit darker than they are. But I always try to talk them into finding one that does just match their skin tone. Mm -hmm. um, but then it also comes down to the formula. Um, you don't want it to be so heavy that mm -hmm. it does kind of cake into those lines right. and wrinkles. Right. Um, but you don't want it so light that there's nothing there. No really. coverage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what about like eyeliner and mascara? Now, I've read that as you get older or more, more mature, you should use something a little lighter, not too dark or mm -hmm. whatever. What, what's your take on that? <laughs> I mean, it's makeup, so I always think just do whatever you want with mm -hmm. it. Whatever you feel more Honestly, comfortable. Honestly, yeah. Because um, I have a lot of women who come to my counter and they're like, oh, I can't do black eyeliner, oh, I can't do black mascara. I'm like, I mean, mm -hmm. you could if you really wanted to. Yeah. It's yeah. just you feel like you shouldn't, but I mean... If mm -hmm. you feel like you don't, then you can always go with like a brown eyeliner, mm -hmm. um, a brown mascara, black brown mascara, um, or if you do want to go for it, go for right. it. that black line in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, thank you for for the, uh, mm -hmm. asking all these and um, answering our, the questions here. And I think right now we're going to take uh, a break, and we're going to have our participants um, come back, and um, we're going to have some skin care and makeup. Uh, such a cool. So the foundation to every good makeup look is the skincare. So we're gonna say we washed our face just for demonstration's sake. And we're gonna go in with one of the liquid exfoliators. So all that I'm going to do is so I'm going to pour some onto this cotton round here and then I'm just going to gently go over skin just to get rid of that top layer of dead skin. Because once that top layer is gone, just like with the moisturizer, the foundation's going to settle much easier. It's not going to catch on to every dead flake that could be there. Okay. I'm going to set that down. And then we'll go in with a moisturizer. So, depending on your preference, really, we can go in either with just a basic moisturizer or we could go with a day cream if it is your if it is daytime when you're going out. So for now, let's just use, I'm going to use the Clinique Moisture Surge. It's good for all skin types. It's going to leave your skin looking nice and dewy, fresh, has hyaluronic acid, so it's going to help also plump out any of those fine lines. So I'm going to take a little bit. Just space it out a bit. And now since that top layer of dead skin is gone, the um, moisturizer is going to absorb in a lot better, a lot smoother. And it's always good to do um, upward strokes because with any like downward dragging strokes, that's just going to help create more wrinkles, um, just drag the skin. So upward strokes is always the best bet. Mm, good. <laughs> so we're going to give the moisturizer some time to absorb. So I think today we're just going to stick with some normal like daytime looks. You know you're like going out. 
somewhere for the day or going to work, that kind of look. So I am a Clinique consultant, however, I still use a lot of products that aren't Clinique. Um, so let's see, to start I'm going to use this Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. I'm going to take a bit onto my hand. So the primer also helps um, the foundation to kind of stick down, lay down a bit nicer on the skin. Really going to help it last longer too. Just going to take some. Just kind of paint it gently onto the skin. Right, so I'm going to go in with the foundation. You brought your own today. What's that brand? Uh, black Opal. Black Opal. So. The good thing about, I read um, the foundation before we got here, and I saw that the foundation actually has um, SPF 15 in it, which is great because you always need that kind of sun protection because a lot of signs from, or most of the signs of either premature aging or also just normal aging, it's all caused from UVA and UVB sun rays. So having something with sun protection is really going to help the skin. So we're just going to... Start placing the foundation down. Okay. And then there are a few different ways that you can um, blend in the foundation. Some people use their fingers, some people use a brush. I use a sponge for mine, but um, we're going to use a nice little dense brush and go in swirling motions to really buff it out and blend it into the skin. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> and so, we, since we are going for more of like a natural daytime look, we won't need too much really, just enough to even out the skin tone. So, we're just going to go with something a little bit more natural for the day. So, I'm going to say a little bit of blush, a little bit of highlight, and a nice simple eye. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. I have this little blush palette here with a lot of colors. So, I'm just going to find something kind of natural. I'm going to take a little bit onto blush brush, brush some of it off. Right, and then smile. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna bring some onto the apple of the cheeks and also bring it up a little bit. Kind of give that real flushed kind of look. Very nice. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same to the other side. I like to follow up after just simple blush, just no need to do like that full on contour if you're just going out for the day really. So we're going to go into very simple eye look. So you can really, you only really takes one shadow to do a simple eye and it's going to be kind of like this champagne color, a little shimmer, brightens up the eye, opens up the eye a little bit. So if you want to close your eyes. Everywhere. Right? Yeah. Goes, you know. Mm hmm. Right? Ready? So I'm just going to bring some of that shadow starting towards the middle because that's where most of the product is going to get off the brush. So I'm gonna pull that. Right? And then same thing to the other eye. So, so, you it's, me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a nice, like, light, simple, easy, natural <laughs> liner. You can use an eyeshadow. Any eyeshadow really will work. And this nice little angled brush. So mascara is always good to have. Um, there are a lot of colors. I know I have, like, a r bright red mascara in my case. But um, black or, like, a dark brown, they're always good to use. So I'm going to use... A, a um, black mascara, and this is the Clinique one. So Clinique mascaras are all ophthalmologist tested. 
so there's not going to be any irritating um, factors. I should use this one. Found it. Um, no irritating ingredients. All good and healthy, safe for the eyes. Okay. So since this is from my own kit, and I don't want to use the same brush on other people, I'm going to take a disposable little mascara wand. Okay. Put it in so you know it's only you touching it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put a good amount onto the wand. And then if you want to just look at this point right here, and just keep your eyes there. Okay. I'm going to get in. I try. <laughs> just find a point and just okay. stare at it. Right? Ready? Yes. Close your eyes? Oh no, you can keep your eyes open. Look about right here. Okay. Mm. And if you blink, that's okay, because that's still going to help put the product on the lashes. If I get too close, though, or it gets uncomfortable, just let me know. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in with the other eye. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to just fill in the brows a little bit. So I have a thin brow pencil. Eyebr <laughs> the box is open. So for brow pencils, I prefer more of a thin one because you're going to want to get those like pencil brush strokes in instead of kind of drawing it on like a sharpie. So <laughs> we're going to take this nice little thin pencil and we're going to just follow the shape that her natural brow shape, fill in a little bit more towards the tail and fill in some more like pencil strokes. So I'm going to start by going more so where this natural arch is, start drawing down into a point. And then most brow pencils will have a little brush on the other side that's called a spoolie. So this is going to be used to brush the hairs. So right now I'm going to brush them down just to see where these, the um, hair starts. I'm just going to connect that line. Before I can fill it in. I'm going to leave the, for the most part, leave the, for like the, um, this end of the brow alone, just maybe fill it like a little few pencil strokes, but most of the filling is going to be towards down the end, kind of create that arch. So we all probably heard brows are more sisters, not twins. So, but you can get them to look pretty identical. So in case like there's a line that kind of gets accidentally put there, you can always take some of your foundation or your concealer and clean it up around the brow. So I'm going to take a little concealer brush, put some for foundation on here. I'm just going to fix the shape a little bit. So we have our brows down. <laughs> you're you're going to be so excited. Yeah, I, I can't wait <laughs> to just take a good look. You're looking good. Look good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a good look at Laurie's. <laughs> For a daytime look, I mean, you can go either way you want. You can go like a full bold matte red, or you can do something a little bit more subtle, a little glossy. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to mm. take the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick. So it's it looks a little dark in here, like you think it's going to be pretty dark. <laughs> okay, so it's actually not as dark as it looks. It's more of a transparent pigment, but it has a red um, color to it. So it's actually going to create a kind of like a customized lip shade for whoever wears it. So I'm just going to take a little Clean it off a little bit. 
Just so you know, all my products are all clean. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe that off with a little like rubbing alcohol just to disinfect it. Mm -hmm. And wipe some away. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. I know what to do. Okay, you can just sit there, maybe open your mouth a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> So this is just going to put some gloss, also be a little hydrating, but also still have that nice color to it. Mm. Or if you want to do that, there you go. I don't even know how to describe that little motion, like smush your lips together mm -hmm. a bit, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Mm. So one of the final steps is going to be some type of setting spray. There's a lot of different kinds out there. There are some that can help make all your makeup look just matte, dried down, or there's ones that dewy, or there's radiant finishes. What I'm going to use today is a facial spray. Um, it has aloe, um, rose water, some herbs in there, so it's actually going to keep your face hydrated. So this is also a good little one to carry like around in your bag in case you're feeling a little dry during the day. Give yourself a few little spritzes. So you want to just relax your face and close your eyes. I'm just going to do a few sprays. And then while that is settling down a bit, I'm going to take a little highlight. So I chose this nice little gold color to go with the eyes. So Take a little bit onto a brush, and we're going to just go along the cheekbone. So that's kind of like your basic little daytime makeup look. I'll give you a mirror so you can take a look. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and my mirror also has this little, it's like a little ring light, so you can see even more on there. So here we go. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> a little bit more on the prepping. So again, for the sake of the demonstration, we washed her skin. <laughs> so again, go in with the liquid exfoliator. So there are um, different ones because a lot of Clinique skincare goes by different skin types. So um, again, for sake of demonstration, <laughs> and for what I do have in my kit at the moment, we're going to go in with the number three, which is like the normal um, combination oily, but there are ones for the very dry to dry combination, the dry combination, and then also one for oily skin, or there is one for all skin types in case you don't want, in case you want like an alcohol free formula. But then there are also the, like the seven day scrub or the exfoliating scrub. It's all up to you, up to your preference, up to your skin type as well. So I'm going to take just a number three and I'm going to push your bangs out of the way a little bit so I can get in here. So again, just going to gently wipe away that top layer of the dead skin. And the fun part with this, like if you do use a cotton round, sometimes you can look down and be like, wow, all of that was like on my face. Let me take a look. Mm -hmm. That's kind of got like what got wiped yeah. off. Yeah, not that bad though. Sometimes I'll have it where it's just like excess foundation that didn't come off, or like mm -hmm. other little dirt. Yeah, it's not going with that. <laughs> so, like I said earlier, when um, there is that three-step system, you can also add in some more products. So I'm gonna use the Clinique Smart Serum. The Smart line helps multiple signs of aging, so it's gonna help reduce like dark spots even out skin tone, brighten up a little bit, also help reduce any of those lines and wrinkles. So I'm going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand, and just like with the moisturizer, I'm just going to space it out a little bit. 
before I just blend it in. And again, upward strokes so you're not dragging down on the skin. Your skin can feel a little bit soft after. I know with the one that I use, um, like I wasn't expecting it to, but it felt like so soft after. But you still want to do follow up with a moisturizer. But before I do that, I'm going to go in with a little eye cream. Um, what I have here is the All About Eyes. So this helps reduce like any dark circles or puffiness, also just hydrates. So I'm going to take a little bit. Because an eye cream kind of like a little goes a long way because it is such a small area. So you always want to use your ring finger because that's the most gentle finger. And then you're going to just gently pat the product in the area. You don't want to like do dragging motions because again that's going to help create more. Any like fine lines, wrinkles, you just want to gently pat the product in. So I always like to go under eye, but also a little bit in the rest of the eye area, just to help hydrate. So we have our eye cream down, and like I said earlier, there's a lot of different kind of like daytime moisturizers. You can have your basic one like the Moisture Surge was, or you can get something that does have um, an SPF in it which is going to be your sun protection. So I'm using a Lancome one. This is the uh, Bienfait, Bienfait Multivital. It's very nice moisturizing 24 hour like antioxidant kind of day cream and it has SPF 30 in it. So I'm going to take a good amount and just like that moisturizer earlier, I'm going to just put some around the skin. And just massage it in. And a lot of times, like the um, day creams can have like kind of like that sunscreen smell, but that's just the SPF in there. That's how you know it also is a day cream. So we're gonna get all that sun protection right on your skin but also still very moisturizing. Alright, so we have a moisturizer, so prepped and prepared, ready for foundation and the rest of the makeup. So, just to be safe, I'm going to close up my products. And I'm going to start with the foundation. So this foundation also has SPF in it, it has an SPF 15. So it's still going to, paired with the day cream, there's going to be a lot of sun protection. It's like what, 45? Like basically an SPF 45. So I'm going to take some on the back of my hand. And we're still going to do like a nice little day look. Um, something simple, but I'll show with some different products. So this time I'm going to take a little flat brush and I'm going to take some of the product. And I'm going to just gently paint it, but also kind of stipple it on. Because if you just kind of paint it on, you can kind of see brush strokes. So I'm going to take it and just stipple it, but also get that product blended. Alright, so your foundation is down. All good. <laughs> so... Again, if you feel like you need more coverage, you can always go in with the concealer, but we're going to keep this a little bit more light. Just a nice, simple daytime look, and that foundation is a pretty good coverage, so I don't think you really need any more. So, after foundation, I say we go into blush. This time I'm going to use another, oh, another Clinique product. So this is the Chubby Stick Blush. This is the shade Amped Up Apple. It's kind of like a really nice, um, natural, but still that little hint of rosy in there but like very subtle so I'm going to take 
one of these kind of fluffy angled brushes and I'm going to just put some of the product on because we're going to go just fairly light. There are other ways that you can use this blush stick. You can draw it right on and blend it out. Use your fingers to kind of warm it up and still go on and blend it out. Or you can put it onto one of these kind of brushes or any other brush really. It's up to you. Right, so smile. <laughs> so we're just going to buff that in. The one good thing about cream blushes too, I feel like they don't necessarily like move as much because they are a cream, they're kind of going right down onto the skin other than like a powder blush that could kind of move, fade a little bit easier. So again, right in like the apples of the cheeks, I always drag it up a little bit just to kind of create more of a flush. Again, we're going to go onto the eyes now. So again, we're going to do something a little more simple, just a kind of nice little shimmer to open up the eye. I'm going to use a different color this time though. I'm going to use more like a, um, rather than like a gold champagne color, more of like a pinky champagne color. So I'm going to take a little eyeshadow brush, get some of the product. Great, so you want to close your eyes. Gently lay the product down. Open. It's going to just open it up. Now that we just have that simple eye look down, we're going to do the same thing with the eyeliner. I'm going to take some powder or pencil, up to your preference, but we're going to go with this today. So again, pat off some of the product. And then close your eyes. So I'm going to just pull up slightly. Just get in there down some of that product. Simple eyeliner, anyone can do it. Just, you know, a little angled brush and whatever color eyeshadow you choose. So now we're going to go in with mascara. I have nice, it's just like a nice black mascara. And this one is actually a lengthening, so it's actually going to help pull out the lashes. Well, not pull them out, but, you know, extend them a bit. <laughs> Make them look longer. It has a thinner brush than the other one that I used. So I'm actually going to give her this mascara. So I'm going to just go straight in from the uh, from the tube onto this brush. Right, so same thing as earlier. Mm -hmm. just need you to look right here. If you blink, that's okay. You have like really long lashes to start with, mm -hmm. so this is just going to bring them out even more. So I'm also going to do a little bit on the bottom lash. Um, I'm going to actually I need another brush. So there are some mascaras like out there that have a tiny, tiny little brush so you can get those bottom lashes. Just because like there's less of them there, they're a little bit smaller, a little harder to get. But this brush is small enough that we should be totally fine. So it just looks straight. So I'm just going to go get a little bit on here. I'm not going to do too much, but just enough so you see some of the lashes. So there we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to use this one here. So Thank you. you. Have that. <laughs> so we're also going to go next into the brows. I have a more blonde pencil. This time, because you do want to match her hair color and like the natural brow color. So this is like a little Morphe pencil. So just like earlier, nice thin pencil so you can get those brush strokes in there. So I'm going to set that down, get the little comb ready. Right, so I'm going to start on this side. So again, you're going to want to just kind of shape out and then fill it in and then also a little brush strokes to make it a little bit more natural looking. So since your brows are like a little more, um, gray, thin, like thin. Yeah. I'm trying to find like the right word, you know, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, you like really do want to try and shape it out. The eyes so are all done. Them. So we're going to go into lip and then set it and then also a little bit of highlight to do after for fun. So I'm going to use more of this kind of crayon and this has a nice light tint as you can see. Nice color kind of complements her lip shade. It's like a little crayon. It's really cute. So like we did earlier, just open your mouth slightly and I'm going to a little smush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <good. laughs> so we're gonna finish with another little set with this same um, the Mario Badescu rose water spray. So just close your eyes and relax. And there we go. So let that kind of settle and absorb for a second. We're gonna take that similar kind of gold highlight. Take a fluffy little highlight brush and again just kind of go along the cheekbones to get some of that fun little shimmer in there. And there we go. <laughs> Wonderful, beautiful. Another little daytime look, even if you want to go out somewhere, this is a good look too. in this chair. <laughs> so Nico is going to um, apply some uh, highlights. Some of, that, some of that fun highlight that we were using <laughs> earlier. Me. And then we are going to thank everyone yeah. for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's get a good amount on there. So let's get that cheekbone just popping out. Yes. <laughs> Highlight, I think, is like the most fun part because, like, you can do any color. I have like this bright pink one in my case mm -hmm. over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Don't they look beautiful? Thank you. They did a, she did a wonderful mm -hmm. job on all of us. <laughs> and again, yes. thank you so much, ladies, for coming out and, and being on our makeup and skincare segment. If you liked our show, please um, hit our button below. Give us your, all your likes and your comments. We want to thank you for tuning in. But until next time, I'm Diane Allen, and this is me.